I'm Matt Drazel. I'm Easton Lindis. And we fish for the Emanuel College Bass Team. Uh, we're here at the Carson Newman campus getting ready for the bass event on Lake Cherokee. Uh, it's been a tough practice, but we think we're figuring them out. They're, these smallmouth are finicky, but they're ready to eat. We think uh, it'll be a pretty good one. This wind that we're supposed to get on Saturday might mess up a few guys, but there's a big enough group here that there should be some dudes out there that'll figure them out. Hey guys, Ben Cullen here from Carson Newman University. Uh, looking to fish Cherokee tomorrow, super excited. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cloudy and then pretty, a little bit windy too, but uh, we got a lot of fish moving up to spawn. I think there's gonna be a lot of fish caught. Uh, this is a really stout field and these guys are gonna catch them. My name's Hayden Gaddis, I'm here with Carson Newman University. Um, day two, I think it's gonna be a curveball. It's gonna be hit or miss whether we get sent out or not. They're calling for 20, 30 mile an hour winds with some gust way over that. So if we get sent, I think the fish are gonna bite and bite really good. So there could be some really big bags weighed in on day two. Welcome to day one of the Strike King Bassmaster College Series presented by Bass Pro Shops. Here we are at Cherokee Lake, Jefferson City, Tennessee. Day one, weather not a problem, not a factor, but day two, very questionable if we're going to be able to get that event kicked off half a day or even even a full day of fishing or even fishing it at all. High winds, excessive high winds, unsafe boating conditions um, really looms right now, but we'll make that decision after day one. Stay tuned, hopefully we can get them in, but if not, safety first is always is a first and foremost priority here at Bass. Garrett Warren here with the Auburn University bass team. And I'm Jake Peck. Today we ended up with 14 flat. Uh, we were skipping mag drafts up underneath docks. Uh, that's a way that Garrett and I like to fish. Felt like we were really comfortable doing it. And um, it was a great day on the water. We were going fish for fish. Um, had a lot of fun out there. 
Yeah, we uh, we called five, six different times. Just never could get more than one big bite. Luckily, Jake got us a four pounder. Uh, that really helped go a long way. It was a couple pound call, whereas the majority of the day it was just a couple ounce call. Uh, it was a fun day. You know, we were the first flight due in. We were looking forward to going tomorrow. But I think Bassmaster made the right call holding us back. Uh, could have, you know, who knows what could have happened tomorrow, but for everyone's safety, I think it was the right move. You know, we'll end up where we end up. I don't think it'll be enough to win, but it was a good event. Hi, I'm Eric Shamblin. I'm Tyler Flacky. Uh, we're from Missouri State University. We just finished uh, weighed in for second place with 17-1 today. Awesome day. Uh, we were basically just chasing around smallmouth schools on rock piles in about 15, 20 feet with a Damiki rig. And if you just drop it on top of them, they'd race up and smoke it. We probably caught at least 30 fish today. Just what a day, especially for how bad the practice was this week, so. Yeah. They are your stop number two, Cherokee Lake College Bassmaster Series champions right here today. It loud for Peyton Harrison, Dalton Head right there at the University of Montevallo. Hi, I'm Peyton Harris, Dalton Head. We're with, we're with the University of Montevallo. We just uh, won the tour stop two of the College Bass Series on Lake Cherokee. and. Uh, it was it was a fun day. We didn't we didn't necessarily expect to do what we did today, but uh, after practice, but it, it was uh, everything came together. So yeah, it was. Uh, I don't know. I think day two we could have put up a good good bag, but when we got that text at one o'clock to that it, day two was going to be canceled, we just started rerunning stuff. We started burning everything down, and I'm kind of glad we did because we needed every ounce. Yeah.